Hi, I'm Brett. Today we've got another video update on the internal workings of the Subaru FA20 engine. Now, this particular engine is the BRZ Toyota 86 engine. It's normally aspirated, so it runs 12 and a half to one. It's the direct injection combined with port injectors on the inlet manifold, unlike the turbo version, which is available now in the Subaru WRX with direct injection only. And as you can see, we've got the uh, short block dismantled here and I've got two fronts of the engine covers to give you an idea of what it looks like inside. So this one hasn't been cleaned up yet. This is the front of an engine with the um, four noses of the variable cam controllers, the extern external sensors that send signals back to the ECU which um, monitor the position of the camshafts. And on the inside you can see a cleaned up version. And what we've done is we've dis dismantled the oil gallery assembly and the oil pump uh, assembly so you can actually see where these components go and how it all looks. Now, up the top here is where you put the oil in the engine, so it drains down into this hole here and eventually finds its way down into the sump. This part here is the oil filter, and as you can see closely just down inside here is the, um, some of the valving to control the way the oil pressure relief valve works. But most importantly is what you can see here is the, the oil drive for the oil pump, which spins a machine in a machine casting of the front of the engine cover and this actual part here bolts onto the front of the crankshaft comes up from underneath but eventually spins the oil pump like that which creates the oil pressure in behind this casting which normally sits on the front of the engine here with then the different ports and as you can see when it's all back together these parts here mechanically connect to the front of the block to supply the oil pressure coming out from the oil pump. Now, one thing that's different between this and the earlier EJ series engines is the oil pump is part of the casted, casting machine assembly on the front of the engine, whereas on the EJ series, the oil pump can be removed and bolted off and replaced. And what I wanted to touch on here is the importance of making sure if you're doing an engine rebuild, where you may have done in this particular engine, done a big end bearing, um, when you're rebuilding these engines, it's important that you get all the junk and the minute metal particles left over from the damaged bearings out of the engine. It's one thing is to drain the oil and put fresh oil in when you rebuild your engine, but it's another thing is to make sure that there's no leftover parts in the ports of the oil galleries, in the heads, in the variable cam controllers, and also just in the little simple things like um, on this engine when we pulled the, the, the covers off here, there was minute particles of metal in and around all of these sensors as well. And this can get inside the oil pump drive assembly, which is a machined assembly as well. And of course, if you don't repair it or service it or replace it correctly, you won't have the correct oil pressure when the engine starts back up. And these engines have very, very low oil pressure, at low operating conditions, uh, a low engine RPM, but at high engine RPM, they have quite high oil pressure. They run a very, very light oil. Um, which is almost like the consistency of water. And the important thing, obviously, at the end of all of it is to make sure that your engine is running with oil, the right oil pressure and also make sure the oil is nice and clean and doesn't have any leftover mechanical parts from your engine rebuild. I just wanted to show you, just to give you an idea, these parts here are what control the variable cam controllers. This is a slightly different design on the EJ series again and bolts under the front of the camshaft and all of these areas here are prone to damage when you have an engine failure such as a big end bearing um, problem as well. So that'll give you a bit of an idea of what to look for, help you understand a little bit more about um, how to look after your engine. We'll do some more updates later on with some more technical info as we assemble some of these engines with some more parts, but you know where to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Follow the link at the bottom of this video to our Facebook page and we'll show you some close up pictures of these still photos to help you understand a little bit more. But for now, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.